Question 10, the last question. So we are, um, uh, the equation fx equals zero. So here's our function here. Our equation is two, it's a quadratic function. Our equation is two equal roots. So write down the value of the discriminant. So that's just a straight one mark question. The value of the discriminant uh, is zero. If those roots are equal, remember if it's uh, greater than zero, it is two. And if it's less than zero, it has no real roots. Part two then, uh, show that P is equal to two. Okay, so there we need to use our B squared minus four AC, the discriminant. And we know it equals zero now from the first part. And uh, B squared, so uh, in this one, uh, the plus four is B, uh, two is A, and C is P. Okay, and just subbing those in, we get four squared minus four times two times P equals zero. Uh, so we get 16 minus 8p equals zero. So uh, zero, not eight. Uh, so p is going to be rearranged is equal to two. Okay, part b. Find the equation of the axis of symmetry. Well, there's a formula for this now that we know p. So here is our equation, 2x squared plus 4x now plus 2. And um, there's a formula in our formula booklet, so we might as well use it. Minus b over 2a so that's going to be 4 over uh, minus 4 over 2 times 2 i think so that's over 4 which is minus 1 so your answer x equals minus 1 it's a line so you must include the x equals minus 1 part 2 uh, find the coordinates of the vertex so the vertex we've just found this is a quadratic graph it goes like that whoops goes like that the vertex is going to be at the bottom it's going to be through the axis of symmetry so we already know the x values we just have to find the corresponding y value you can substitute that in so two times minus one squared plus four times minus one uh, plus two uh, work that out so four minus I me mean two uh, two minus four oh it's zero okay so my point is minus one all right, part C, uh, well, they asked for part C. Write down the solution to the equation form fx equals uh, zero. All right, so uh, now you could, uh, you could work this out. You actually already know it, but uh, let's work it out as if we, for, uh, if we weren't entirely sure uh, equals zero. So the solution would be solving this. So dividing by two, maybe. Uh, you can factorize so this, there's a, a number of ways you can do this uh, they need to be both plus in order to make plus two all right so my answer is when they equal zero x is negative one okay so that's also the solution part D uh, the function f can be written in that form oh that looks like difference of two square or completing the squares method uh, find the values of a, h, and k. So we should be able to complete the square at this stage. Uh, I'm going to say that's 2 times x squared plus 2x uh, plus 2. All right. Uh, let's make that into the square. So that's 2 times. Uh, you'll see why I do this in a second. x plus 1 squared. That's going to be our thing to be squared. Uh, I think I've added one to the equation, so I need to get rid of that. And then I am going to, if you're unsure in completing the squares, you need to go back and review that. Um, so that's going to give minus two. So it's going to be x plus one squared. Two times. Okay, so that's uh, that two. Oh, it's going to be, sorry, two x. I think uh, that's going to be going to minus 2, multiply by 2, add 2. Okay, that's gone. All right. So, uh, what's my A, H, and K? A is 2. Uh, the number in front, remember, A, H, K. A, H is going to be uh, minus 1. And K then is 0. Part E. Uh, the coordinate, the graph of the function obtained... By reflection in the x-axis, find the coordinates of the, the graph of g. So it's reflected in the x-axis. 
Well, we already know that this graph goes through the point one minus one zero, so it's here. It's like this. If it reflects in this axis, it's going to be the perfect uh, reflection. So it's the exact same vertex, minus one zero. And that's the solution to the question 10.